Welcome. In this video, we continue with Arkham Horror the Card Game in the Dunwich Legacy expansion. We are now in Scenario 3, the Essex County Express. So updating our campaign, recent events in the museum have forced you to reevaluate Armitage's tale about Dunwich. It cannot be a coincidence, Wilbur Waitley, the Necronomicon, the creature from Dunwich, and the people and creatures who attacked here in Arkham. Everything must be connected. You're certain now where you must head. The lonely and dismal town of Dunwich Village. You consider telling the Massachusetts State Police what you know, but the negative consequences outweigh the potential gain. Given the nature of your story, they would likely write your stories off as an absurd hoax. Worse, they could lock you up. After all, you were present in an illegal speakeasy and you also trespassed in the museum. Instead, you decide to head to Dunwich yourself in order to investigate further. Pack everything you think you might need and manage to get some rest for the night. In the morning, you head to the train station in Northside and purchase a last-minute express ticket. Dunwich is several hours by train, northwest along Miskatonic River Valley. There is no train station in Dunwich, but you manage to phone one of Armitage's acquaintances in the small village, a man by the name of Zebulon Waitley, who was present during the events several months ago. Armitage's notes indicate that the Waitley family is spread across many branches, some decadent and unscrupulous, others undecayed, or otherwise untouched by nefarious and diabolic rites. According to Armitage, Zebulon's branch of the family lay somewhere between the decayed and undecayed Waitleys, who knew the traditions of his ancestors but was not corrupted by them, he agrees to pick you up at the closest station and drive you into town. As the train departs from Arkham, you feel the events of the previous night catching up to you. An exhaustion sets in. But before you can safely reach your destination, the train car suddenly rumbles and shakes, starting you out of your revier. The train loudly skids to a violent halt, and you hear a rattling noise behind you. So for setup, we're going to gather these encounter sets. So I've got those laid out here on the table. I'm going to put one of the three engine car locations into play at random, remove the others, then put six of the eight train car locations in play at random in a straight line to the left of the engine car. So it's going to resemble something like this. So three engine cars and our train car areas. We will reveal the leftmost train car, and that's where we begin. We'll set all four copies of Cross Space and Time aside out of play. So we'll set these off to the side. And based on our difficulty level, we've been going in standard. We're going to add a negative three to our bag of goodies. And then shuffle the remainder of the encounter cards to build the encounter deck. So movement on the train, it's going to have specifics from left to right. Let's go ahead and get that set up. So finishing up shuffling our encounter deck here, then we'll set our train cars in place. So we've got the three engine cards. We'll give them a quick shuffle. So engine car is connected to location to the left of it. You cannot enter engine car unless all of the clues on the location to its left have been discovered. So we'll put that one in play there. These are removed. Then for our train cars, train car is connected to locations to the left and right of it. You cannot enter train car unless all the clues on the location to its left have been discovered. So we're getting six of these in play. And these two will be removed. So as far as everything else set up, there's been a tear in reality. So train to Dunwich comes to a jarring stop. You look out the window behind you and see an immense tear in the sky. Like a rip in a piece of cloth, several of the rearmost train cars are pulled backwards. There's a dreadful metallic crunch as they are detached. 
The train cars topple upwards and into a rift in the sky. Nearby passengers are panicking, others are cowering in their seats, and one elderly man has fainted in fear. So threshold of four on that one. And for our act, run. The train has stopped on a bridge high above Miskatonic River. You might be able to survive the fall, but you don't like your chances. Your best bet is to make your way to the engine car as fast as you can and get the train running again. Objective, if an investigator enters the engine car, we immediately advance. So basically we've got to find clues all the way down here and see what happens after that. So for Ashcan Pete, we've got his indebted in. So we start with three resources instead of five. And we've got our loyal hound Duke. So for our deck, we'll get five cards here and see what happens. Starting with, look what I found, a fire ax and flare, a knife and lucky. We'll go ahead and discard these two. See what we draw into. So a cunning distraction and an emergency cash. And we'll shuffle these back into our deck. And jump on the back of the train. So we start. Shroud of two, zero clues. Dining car is connected to locations to left and right. After you reveal a dining car, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling horror and draw it. Fortunately, we get to ignore the force effect of the first one we enter. So for our first action, we're gonna use Duke's ability for us to move to a connecting location and investigate. So we're getting two clues on this one. With a shroud of two, after you enter passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least total two willpower icons or take two horror. And it looks like we're gonna take two horror. We'll give one to Duke and one herself. Then we'll go in with our investigation as part of his action. So our base four on two. So into the chaos bag. Getting a minus X where X is the current agenda. So just minus one, so we succeed there. Then we will discard a card to ready Duke and investigate again. Once again, four on two. Getting plus two and ready Duke. So we found that clue. And since that went so well for us, we're gonna use his ability to go ahead and move and investigate into the next one. So Shroud of Three, two clues. Do you enter passenger car? You must either discard cards from hand with at least a total of two intellect icons or take two horror. No, well, we don't want to take any more horror, so this is a great card to have, but we're gonna to have to discard it. Then with our finish our ability, Getting plus two and Duke again. So finding our third clue. That will end our actions. So as in general, we skipped the mythos phase on the first round. We just took our three actions. Enemy phase, we don't have any in play yet. So we'll go straight into upkeep. So drawing a stray cat. Gaining a resource, then we'll put our first of four doom on the agenda and finding a helpless passenger. So this has surge, 
Put him in a play at the location to your left. We can parlay, take control of a helpless passenger. Helpless passenger leaves play. Each investigator takes one whore. So he comes in to our left. Then we'll surge. Finding another helpless passenger. Surging again. Finding claws of steam. So test our willpower. If you fail, take two damage and cannot move from this location this round. Damage from this effect must be assigned to your assets first, if able. Poor Duke. So we've got a base four. We'll go ahead and discard this for five and six. So six on three. Getting a minus X where the agenda is, so minus one, so we pass that test. So for our first action, I think we're gonna play this event for two. We're gonna to choose to search the top nine cards of any investigator's deck for an ally asset and put it into play under our control. And we exile this, so this is gonna cost us two. One, two, three, four. So, so, let me see, ally assets. So we've got two we can put in play. So one's gonna give us plus one agility and plus one willpower and ability to deal with some horror. This one helps us gain some resources. So I think we're gonna put Peter, and I believe he comes into play, if I'm correct. Yep. So then we'll shuffle these back into our deck. Our second action, we'll use Duke to investigate here. So four on three. Getting a minus two. So we'll go ahead and play your lucky. So it's fast, play when you would fail a skill test, get plus two to your skill value for that test and then draw a card. So we'll spend one so we can pass this test and draw a card. Getting a laboratory assistant. We will discard a card to ready Duke and then use his ability to move and investigate. So shroud of one, one clue. If you enter this one, you must either discard a card from your hand with at least one wild or take one damage and one horror. Well, we only have one card in hand, so we are taking one damage and one horror. So we'll take the damage, we'll put the horror on Peter, and then finish that activation with four on one. That is a minus one with some additional text, but we didn't fail. So we are good with that. So that's our three actions. Went and found Peter and we investigated twice. So at the end of our turn, we heal on horror from Peter. No enemy phase. So upkeep, unexpected courage, gain a resource. Our second doom. Drawing into a grappling whore. So it's a hunter. While you engage with grappling whore, you cannot move. So we are stuck for a little bit with that guy. So for our first action, we are going to attempt to evade him. So he's got a two to get away from. We are going to have three plus one, so four on two. Getting minus one, so we've evaded him, so he's gonna be exhausted and become unengaged. We'll use Duke to move 
and investigate for our second action. So Shroud of Four, one clue coming in. If you enter, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least two combat or take two damage. So I think we're gonna end up taking two damage. So we'll go up to three on ourself. And then with our finishing his action to investigate, phase four, five, six. Auto fail. For a final action, we'll just draw a card, finding Dr. Armitage there. So for the enemy phase, nothing's gonna happen because he's exhausted. So upkeep, we will unexhaust all our cards, drawing a knife and gaining a resource. And three of four, next card, place one doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the agenda to advance and it will. So the rear most car, the train detaches as it is pulled backwards to your whore. It rises off the tracks and is consumed by the gate above you. Remove the leftmost location from the game or place it in the victory display. If it has no clues on it. Each investigator on that location is defeated. Each enemy and asset on, at that location is discarded. Discard all clues controlled by the investigators. So this dining car goes away. We lose our clues. Then the mall widens. The tear grows larger and you can feel the rearmost car of the train shaking as it is pulled backwards. The situation threatens to erupt in chaos as more passengers realize the danger they are in. Some passengers are looking for places to hide while others are running about the compartments in terror. So a threshold of three on that one. So these two guys are in trouble, but uh, we're not going back for them. They should have ran the other direction. So that was the agenda. Now we get a card. Actually, we got the card already. That's what did that. All right. So back to us. We are going to use Duke to assist us in investigating with the wisdom from the doctor. So we've got six on four. Getting a minus two now. So we're good with that. We will discard the knife to ready Duke and then use him to move and investigate. So we've got three clues on this one. If you enter a passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least two agility or take two damage. So not an option. Guess we'll split these up. Duke could take one and we'll take one. Then finish our action with Duke. So four on one. All right, awesome. So we get to ready Duke. We found that clue. And our third and final action, we'll use Duke to explore or investigate. Four on one, getting minus two. Finding that clue. Our actions are done. Enemy phase, he'll move one train car closer to us. Then upkeep. Finding some guts. And a resource. Put a first doom on there. Drawing a card. Place a doom on the current agenda. So this can advance, so that's going to put it to the second spot. For this one, we're just going to use our base. We've got a base two. 
We'll pitch a card to make it three. So three on one. Getting minus two, so we succeed there. So that gets all the clues off that one. For second action, we'll use Duke to move. So we cannot enter this unless all the clues. So we've been getting all our clues. After you reveal engine car, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling horror, draw it and shuffle the encounter deck. And it has two clues on it. So we're looking for the grappling horror. And we also advance here since we entered the engine car. A tender car filled with coal blocks your way to the engine cab. Swallowing your fear, you climb out of the nearby window and clamber onto the roof of the train, making your way across the tender car. The steady backward motion of the train makes it difficult for you to keep your footing. As you get close, a winged creature swoops down from above, its body composed of piping hot steam. We have to decide to test our agility or combat. So try to dodge or try to endure the heat. Our agility is a four, so that's the one we'll go with. So we need a three. We get a zero, so we're good there. If you fail, you leap too far and barely grip, although you manage to pull yourself up. You suffer one mental trauma. All right, so we pass that, so we're good there. So now we need to get the engine running. Managed to make it to the engine cab, but now you have to get the engine started again so you can outrun the pulling force of the gate. If there are no clues in the engine car, immediately advance. So we were in the process of a move and investigate. So I think we'll continue with that investigate. So we've got four on two. Getting a minus two. And since we did that while engaged, we'll take a damage and a sanity. So that puts us up to five and our third and final action is going to be attempting to evade. So four on two. Getting a zero. So he becomes exhausted in our space. Enemy phase, this one moves closer. Upkeep, readies and engages. We'll draw a card into a rabbit's foot. Gain a resource, put our third token over here. While we did at the end of our turn, this would have come off. So the next train car is ripped backwards with violent force. Middle-aged man hangs from his fingertips as the car flies unhindered toward the rift. In moments, the car is consumed whole and the man lets go rather than be pulled into the void. He starts to fall, but is caught by the wrist force and pulled inside it anyway. Remove the leftmost location from the game. Each investigator at that location is defeated and we discard all clues. So we're losing both of these, so we're going to take two horror. And I'm going to put both of those on Peter. So rolling backwards. 
pull the rift in the sky seems to grow stronger and the entire train begins to roll backwards along the tracks. The rearmost cars of the train begin to rattle. The force of the rift threatening to detach them. You must get out of these cars as fast as you can. And I totally agree. Threshold of four on that one. Drawing a card. Revelation, testing your willpower. If you fail, take two damage and you cannot move from this location. Damage from this effect must be assigned to your assets first, if able. So we've got a base four, five, six, seven on three. Getting a minus one. So we pass that. Our first action is going to be an evade. We're going to be a base four. We're going to make that five. Five on two. Getting a minus one, so we've evaded. Our second action is going to have Duke. So four on two. Minus three, if you fail, choose and discard a card from your hand. We have no cards in hand. So our third and final action, we're just gonna try it. So we're gonna be base two on two. Getting a minus three, so we'll take that as a no. Enemy phase, this guy will ready. This one will move over. Well, actually, enemy phase, he doesn't ready. This one moves over and a taxes. At the end of our turn, we would have healed one from there, so we can put one back on. So we're gonna have to put that damage on him, which will take care of Peter. Then we'll ready our cards. Drawing into an overpowered. Gain a resource. Play some Doom. Place two Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. If there are no cultist enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. Shuffle the encounter deck. So he goes on an empty location. We'll put him back on this train and hope that goes away eventually. And after he enters play, we put a doom on him. So back to our actions. We've got two monsters on us. First action, we're gonna to try to evade one, so four on two. Getting plus two and we ready our dog, so away from that. Second action, same thing. Getting a zero, so we've evaded there. Now we're gonna use Duke. Four on two to investigate. So one more time, hopefully. Getting a minus one. So we have no clues on the engine car. The engine roars to life and kicks into motion. You shovel coal into the engine's firebox and are relieved to see that the train is moving forward along the tracks again. Going to resolution one, with two beasts on us. So resolution one. You breathe a sigh of relief as the gate behind the train collapses harmlessly upon itself. The few passengers who survived the ordeal seem unable to comprehend what just happened, just much like herself. The one passenger mentions a pipe bursting in the rear car, and that quickly becomes the explanation for the innocent and ignorant, those who either cannot or choose not to delve further into the mystery. You, on the other hand, know better, although in hindsight, you wish you didn't. So we will earn experience equal to the victory X value. So those did not give us XP. So we get one XP from this, which is gonna be easy. We'll use that to get our flare back. So 
Now the additional cards in this set, we've got two bandoliers, Stand Together, an art student, Deduction, I'm out of here, a Switchblade, Hypnotic Gaze, Shriveling, a Newspaper, Lure, a Relic Hunter, and if I get three more XP, I'll be getting a permanent. You have one additional ally slot. So that concludes our train rod on the Essex County Express. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.